hey guys welcome back to the channel this is karen and thank you so much for watching this video if you're new to this channel please make sure to click that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my videos so on today's video i'll be showing you guys how i put my hair in braids so i use braids as a protective style and a way um to keep my hair tucked in whenever i want to put on a wig so i'm starting on freshly washed hair my hair is clean i shampooed a deep condition so now i'm into the styling process so i hope that this video is going to be helpful to you when you want to prepare your hair for a week so i'm gonna go ahead and start with the african pride living cream this is my go-to cream it's a moisturizing cream it's also a softening cream so that's the consistency of the cream it's a creamy kind of consistency what i love most about this cream is because it keeps my hair moisturized um for days so I'm going to be using this cream in most of my videos because I'm not ready to let it go and I have not yet found something which is better than this cream. So what I'm doing right now is working in the cream into my hair to make sure that um, my the, the hair product is um, coated. Mm -mm. To make sure that my hair strands are coated with the hair product, I use the prayer hands method. So one thing I also love about this cream is that it defines my curls and I love it because it helps me to have defined wash and goes. That's why I also love this cream. So right now I'm just going to go ahead with the Unjackies not on my watch. So you can use this as a detangling product, um, but I also use it for moisturizing and uh, purposes so if you wanna use it for detangling it's also okay because it's more water based it's kind of liquid kind of a filling product it's not a cream so it's quite slippery as well so it can help to detangle your hair so i prefer using it in this process because it gets my hair wet i don't have to use water like you just saw i did not go in with water i just went in with the products simply because they are water-based products and they also define my curls so i love this product so guys i'm also gonna go in with a hair but i just gonna see right now i'm just taking my time with the curls and stuff so i use the afro food afro moisturizing butter by dark and lovely this is my go-to butter i'm also not ready to let go of this butter as well it's not very oily and the thickness that's how thick it is the thickness is not that thick it's not stiff it's just a normal kind of thickness so i love that butter because it also moisturizes my hair so this product just adds moisture moisture after moisture that's why i love them so much they keep my hair moisturized for a maximum of three to four days so even after two two days i can still feel that my hair is moisturized third day still moisturized the fourth day that's where the fourth day that's where i'm a bit skeptical about the moisture but it's still not that better could go on to the fifth day if i want to but i just want to make sure that my hair is well so yeah guys this is how i do my braid i part it into three i already have that section as you saw so those are the three parts that i use i just put one over the other i hope you can see i hope that it's clear guys because i'm not good in explaining such things as this because it's not easy it's just not easy but you can see how i did it i just held three you can move them move those three parts in any way that will work for you but just make sure that they go over one another and make that three strand braid come out very well so i'm gonna try to improve this part of my tutorials just to make sure that you guys get it right but this is how i actually do my braid so this is more or less what i'll be doing in each and every section and as you all know and as we know what happens to this channel i'm just gonna go ahead and speed up the video as usual
so we are done guys i am done putting my hair in those wonderful juicy moisturized braids so remember because i'm low porosity the product is bound to lie on top of my hair but sooner or later it will sink in it's just that it's gonna take time unless if i use heat but air drying itself just takes time so it makes it worse that my hair is just low porosity so yeah guys we should get used to it as long as we are low porosity gang so yeah i'm just gonna go in now with the oil so the in most cases i mean to say when i go in with an oil after styling or applying the styling product it's because i did not use the oil on the deep conditioning process but normally i apply the scalp oil on my deep conditioning um step because the the oil gets to sink in very quick because there's heat used in that part so yeah guys make sure to apply that scalp oil. you see i just applied in a few parts that's because i already have the oil on my scalp so i didn't want to clog my scalp so there we go we have those braids you have them moisturized you can just rock them around your house so yeah guys this is it for this video please if you like this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up and also hit the notification bell if you don't want to miss my future videos and also do the good thing which is to subscribe so i'll catch you guys on my next video bye